the Apex last year. That was one of the best uh, fighting experiences I had. It was quiet, peaceful. Fighting's chaotic. When I'm in the locker room warming up, you know, I have these, the ang I have anxiety and nerves. I'm about to go in front of the world. You know, millions of people are watching. My city back home is, is watching and rooting for me. I don't want to let anyone down. I don't want to let myself down. I want to perform in my ability. Uh, at the top of my, you know, whatever I'm capable of doing, I want to perform at that. And, um, yeah, that, that, like, I'm just, over time, I've got acquainted with those feelings. So when I'm in the locker room warming up, I'm like, here we go again, you know. Uh, and I've learned that those feelings are what keep you alive, what keep you able to, to react in the moment at a higher speed and, and be on, you know, be on your game. But I liked fighting in the apex when it was quiet. Fear is my friend. Uh -huh. I love fear. Fear, fear. fear allows me to reach my highest potential. Mm -hmm. The fear of failing is an illusion. Yeah. Fear is an illusion, but we have to have desire. We have to have something that pushes us. Fear pushes us. Uh -huh. You don't understand that living prepares us for death, our life. It prepares us for death. Uh -huh. You know, even if we die young, it prepares us. So just the fact that we're losing guys like Kobe lose. We're just moving people in our family. There's people dying it's around us all every day, so we prepare for it. Mm -hmm. We understand that, but we avoid it. Do you have any methods for getting through fear? Excuse me? Do you have any methods? Like, how do you, how do you get through fear? What if, if somebody says, yes, I'm afraid right now, and uh, whether it's preparing for a fight or a football game or a business meeting or I'm going to ask this girl out, like how do you, how do you get through that fear? What, what? I just tell you, listen, this is the thing, right? Whatever we do in the sports, life, and when you don't, when that, when you don't have that feeling no more, it's over. Mm -hmm. When you don't get that fear no more, it's over. Yeah. Meaning that it's gotta like that's. That's that's the measurement stick. That that's that's how you know you're going in the right direction. It keeps us alive. Yeah. Listen, you think a deer, a deer comes to a lake. He feels the intention is a lion in the tree. So normally he'd jump fifty feet, but with that fear he jumped forty feet. Yeah. You know, it's the flight of it's survival. Brian Garcia and what he's going through and the post that he put out on Instagram about needing time away from the sport. I ask you, what's your thoughts on that? And have you ever felt that you needed a break from boxing? So I was, I saw the, the, the news uh, from uh, Ryan Garcia about he don't want to fight. I don't know. I was thinking he get Corona or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but, but I'm not sure about that, but you know, I think he need time to, to be more ready to to go to different level, you know. After after this fight with Luke Campbell, everybody was like uh, was like in shock, you know. Yes. Because I was fighting with with Luke Campbell, I didn't feel any punch from him, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 Ryan Garcia, he get down with very nice punch from from Luke Campbell. So now I was thinking mm, he have a lot of problem about that. <clears throat> more mentality, you know, more mm -hmm. mentality because he 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 get a, a good punch from, from from Luke Campbell and and also he get this he, he take this fight is very dangerous for him, you know. I have better punch for them than Luke Campbell, hundred percent. ¿Tú viste el fin de semana la pelea de Ryan Garcia? No, yo no veo pendejadas. ¿Tú qué opinas de Ryan? Um. Muy bien, me, me, es buen amigo, ¿me entiendes? Me cayó muy bien. Me habló por teléfono el día de la, el día de la pelea, pero no vi su pelea, la verdad. There's so many fighters that they pray. Y'all talking, talking about this kid, Ryan Garcia. Ten got his followers from kicking ass. Ryan Garcia got his followers from YouTubers. There's a difference. So you want to be a YouTuber or you want to be a fighter? Ten is a fighter. He showed that he can dish it. He can dish it out as well as take it. Uh, Tank, Danny Alvarez behind the gloves. First and foremost, congratulations on you know another victory. Um, saw the back and forth between yourself and Ryan uh, after your fight. What did you make of his comments uh, that he made to you and to Floyd? Yeah, Instagram fighter. We don't worry about him. YouTube. YouTube, yeah. He's a pretty girl. That's what he is. He, um, he, he, just talk. Thanks for that. You know, we, 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 we try, hold on. I don't know what he said, but we try to make this fight 
For those that don't know, we try to make this fight before Ryan, the kid Ryan Garcia. We try to make the fight. He, he chose. What happened, Leonard? You know. Yeah. Get a whole breakdown. Yeah, yeah. I, I tried to make the fight, and they didn't want to fight. Bottom line. He's not that again? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He said that he, I guess he was going to do an exhibition with Pacquiao instead of fight. You know, you, did, you get to do an exhibition when you retire. So you can't be doing an exhibition when you when you're dealing in active, real fights. Very impressive. Andre Johnson. Hey everybody, just want to make it real clear. My fight with Pacquiao would not be an exhibition. It will be a real fight, shooting for 12 rounds, all on the line, our records on the line. Just want to make that very clear for everybody with confusion. Tank, I'm gonna say it in front of Mike and Jeremy. If you do not take this fight, your legacy is forever tainted. Nobody, I mean God, nobody, oh will damn. ever remember your name. <laughs> nobody, the money's there. I know you love money, God, but money's there. Damn. If you don't take the fight next, your whole legacy forever is tainted if you don't take the next fight oh with me. Oh my God. God damn, Tank, I ain't never heard no shit like this. You five five, you don't need a ladder to hit me. You're gonna need a Stairmaster. Boy, you won't be able to touch me. You ain't never fought a 135 in your life. Just different. Just, I don't care what you say. I got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Boy, I don't care. You too ugly to be I'm And that's what I'm Boy, I'm pretty. You ain't never seen nothing like me. I promise you. You, you gonna go down. You see me with the bow tie, man. Two rounds is all gonna take. Uh, but you can talk to Mike. Have a good time with Mike. Yeah, this shit, man. Yeah, this shit, man. On me. Oh, don't worry. You can, hey, yeah, uh, hit me with that shot. You're going to need a Stairmaster, boy. Yes. Hey, key word. Oh. Key word. Would have. If, uh, if. Can your next fight be with the nigga, man? What the We on worldwide television. Can you fight the fucking mad shit, man? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, sign in a thousand. Hey, look at me. I'm dancing. I'm happy. Look, I'll I, I get your bachata on you. I'm bachata. Hey, hey, hey! I'm happy. Let's go. Let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Yeah, man. You got to do something, man. You got to let him talk to the next person. Let him talk to this shit. Look at him, man. Everybody, just want to make it real clear, my fight with Pacquiao would not be an exhibition. It will be a real fight, shooting for 12 rounds, all on the line, our records on the line. Just want to make that very clear for everybody with confusion.